Many people like to add interest to a patio or create a focal point in a garden area or lawn by laying a simple patio circle. It's a relatively easy process and in this short demonstration I'm going to show you how you can do it for yourself. Today we're going to be laying a patio circle to create a centrepiece in the middle of this garden area. We're going to be using Bradstone Old Town because it's got the look and character of old weathered Yorkshire flagstones. Before we start any digging or mixing, the first job is to dry lay the patio circle. A simple job of laying out the patio circle as you want the finished patio to be, leaving a 10 to 15 millimeter jointing gap between each piece. This lets you check the size and layout, and most importantly, that you have all the pieces for the job. Once you're happy, mark the centre and then the area to be covered by the circle, allowing an extra 150 millimetres or so for working space. Now you need to clear all the grass, topsoil and organic matter and dig out for the patio foundations. If the circle is adjacent to a house or other building, perhaps as part of a larger main patio, the finished patio surface must be at least 150 millimetres below the level of any damp proof course. Incidentally, if you're working next to a house or fencing, remember to include a fall or slope away from them to ensure rainwater drains away. You should include a fall of at least 1 to 80 for drainage, which means a level difference of 25 millimetres over a 2 metre distance. So, for example, for this 2.8 metre circle, you'll need at least 35 millimetres crossfall. To ensure the paving remains stable, it must be laid on a firm and level sub-base, so we'd recommend using what's known as Type 1 granular material. Lay this crushed stone to a depth of at least 100mm and ensure it's thoroughly compacted to a minimum thickness of 75mm. Next, prepare a mortar mix using 6 parts sharp sand to 1 part cement mixed to a damp but not sloppy consistency. Spread out between 250 and 400 millimetres of mortar to cover an area slightly larger than the circle piece you want to lay. You must also ruffle the surface of the mortar to be sure there's some give in it when you tap down the paving slab. Then just lay each concentric circle in turn, tapping each paver down with a rubber mallet and checking with a spirit level to ensure the level and fall are correct. The joints between the circle pieces should be 10 millimetres wide. Incidentally, if you are laying this circle within a larger square or rectangular paved area of Bradstone Old Town, then you would also use the squaring off kit, which creates a simple square to sit easily against the paving. If you're using a squaring off kit, it's a good idea to lay a few courses of the paving before you start your squared circle. It could save you from having to make so many cuts to paving at the edges. Once all of the paving has been laid, avoid walking on it for the first 24 hours or so to give the bedding mortar a chance to harden. The final step is to point all the joints, including the false ones in the centre too. You can joint using a mortar comprised of 3 to 1 mix, 3 parts building sand to 1 part cement. Mix it slowly, adding a little water at a time to get a smooth consistency. Remember that wet mortar can burn exposed skin, so make sure you're wearing suitable protective gloves and have long sleeves to protect your arms as well. Simply trowel the mortar into the joints, pressing it down and smoothing over using a pointing bar if necessary. Take care to avoid any mortar going onto the surface of the paving slab. Any surplus mortar can be scraped off, but it's often best to leave these for a few hours until the mortar has started to harden and it can be removed with less risk of it staining the paving surface. So it's job done and a distinctive new feature for this garden. The tools you'll need are a pair of trowels, one specifically for pointing, a string building line, a long spirit level to make sure everything is straight and level and a rubber mallet to tap down the blocks. You may also need a mixer and compactor to help with the preparation. Don't forget these four tips for success. Always dry lay the circle first to ensure you've checked your measurements. Create a good solid base. Always lay the circle from the middle out. Always check your levels and fall frequently to make sure you stay on track. You may of course want to hand the whole project over to a Bradstone Assured installer like me. I'm sure there's one in your area, so just check the website out. Thanks for watching and goodbye.